Hi everyone, I'm Ingrid Denekem. I'm currently studying bioengineering at the Rhine Valley University of Applied Sciences in Germany, in Kiewer in particular. Uh, just a little bit about my background, I, I'm Cameroonian as well. So uh, I came to Germany three years ago. I was just like starting up this new phase of my life. I was excited because obviously traveling abroad is like a huge thing when you come from Cameroon. And I was like also a little bit afraid because it was like going to be a total new environment. So many new people and so much new culture. So um, right now when I look at myself back then and where I am right now, I feel like I have made so much progress in my personal development and also concerning like my studies and my professional development as well. So bioengineering here in Rheinwald, it's like for me, I think I choose the best course <laughs> because when I talk to other people, uh, they, they, they really feel like I'm passionate about what I do. So. <laughs> Yeah, so bioengineering, when I choose the course, I was expecting more of biology and genetics and all that. Me as well, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like most people, I came to be not really negatively surprised, but surprised that there is a lot of math, a lot of calculation, a lot of engineering. And it's kind of exciting to combine both the science, just studying, and the engineering part. I feel like bioengineering is the future. And I'm super glad to have chosen to study this course. It's kind of very broad, at the same time very specific. So you get to have courses like cross cultural competence and uh, courses like management, courses like law, you know. <laughs> Do you think they're useful uh, like in, um, in the context of this program? It's very useful, very useful. You, can, you get to learn like these soft skills which yeah. no one else teaches you. You know, you get to learn communication and all that. So it is a well-rounded package. More which, prepared to the modern world. Exactly, which yeah. is well adapted for what you're going to expect in the future. Like at this point, I'm almost done with my studies. I just need to finish a few more courses and take an internship. And I feel like I'm ready to actually go and get a job and work. I feel like I have something to offer because I have learned so much throughout these years. And being here, I had like a lot of opportunities to connect to the outside world, not just like here in Germany, but also conferences abroad. Very so good like, here. Yeah, yeah, you noticed also. Uh, <laughs> like in comparison with my country to in Germany, mm -hmm. there is, yeah, mm, much uh, easier to connect with people, especially um, outside of your students' environment, mm -hmm. let's say. Did you uh, experience that you just uh, met someone and it helped you to find an internship or a workplace? Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Like here in Germany, there's like, how can I put it, more... It's just like opportunity because back at home, it's just like you go to school, you look for a job, but here just by talking to people, they can be like, oh, I feel like you have really good communication skills. Would you want to be a speaker at this? I feel like everything is more connected. And if you have like a clear vision of what you want to do, you can just like grab so many opportunities every day. It's really nice. People are together, friends. Here it's a little bit different. Like friends are friends and professionals are professionals. But the environment is really good all together. So do you think you improved your intercultural competence here? Like how, uh, how do you get along with the many uh, cultures, nations? Uh, how do you feel yourself? Are you comfortable? Yeah, I have to say that's definitely one of the things I have learned. Because like Rheinwald is one of the most international universities in Germany and you can see people from all over the world, Africans, Indians, Asians and my class for example, we are like over 60 different nationalities. Like you get to meet these people from these small islands like Trinidad that you've even never heard about it before. True, true. <laughs> yeah, so I've got to learn a lot about different cultures. And I'm even like picking some words in different languages, you know. <laughs> when yeah. you talk to someone in Spanish, you're like hola, and then someone Arabic. You get to learn a lot about different cultures. This is a them. magic mix of uh, languages, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. People usually teach each other a few words of uh, their own language. Yeah, it's yeah. 
It's, it's a good thing, yeah. yeah. Definitely, that's one of the key reasons why you should study in Germany and in Rainbow in particular. It's super international and there's a lot to learn. Uh, you personally, what topic uh, would you like to specialize to, uh, in? To specialize in? So my interests are quite diverse, I have to say. I'm very interested in bioengineering, that's for sure. But I'm also very interested in politics and sustainability. So they are not like exactly related, but I want to find a way where I can combine both of them, like putting technology into application, into policies, and to serve the people, and to bring these technologies to low-income communities as well. That's like my personal goal. So I found this course for masters, which kind of like comprises both. Okay. And I'm super excited to study. <laughs> Where? He, not here, but... Uh, it's still in Germany, but in Berlin. I'll be starting with Kleber, okay. but I think Berlin is nice too. Of course, it's really international too. You get used to this uh, environment already, but also there are many opportunities here for uh, fresh ideas. They are accepting yeah. it. They are... Yeah. Another thing is like startups, like this place is full of very brilliant people. Like each single day I talk to people and they have like the startup idea. I'm like, where did they get it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's so much innovation going on around here and people are thinking like people are building new stuff, people are creative, people actually search for problems and try to bring in the solutions. Yes, the society matters um, a lot because uh, here I think here are people who overcame their fears, uh, many difficulties. They just came and started. Yeah, and they they want to they want to work, they want to thrive, they want to invent. I also met many uh, engineers uh, like from many programs, not just ours, uh, who always started their projects and they they like exchange experience with for example management students or uh, students uh, from international relations mm -hmm. and this is always a good conjugation because you yeah you may lack knowledge but uh, with communication you just balance it yeah, i think that is key actually because especially like here in Rainbow, we have like common spaces like mensa and all that yeah. where people from different faculties get to meet together and engage in conversations that actually are very productive because they have different backgrounds and they're looking at the problem from different perspectives so they bring all of these ideas and that is like what brings out all this beauty because cooperation is very important yeah true you feel like your brain uh, constantly renewed and uh, yeah fresh ideas and you analyze them and you bring something new from your side mm -hmm. true okay so um about about germany and living here uh, can you say a few words uh... yeah of course so the first challenge to living in germany is obviously the language <laughs> So I speak French, I speak English as well, yeah. but German is like a very peculiar language, like the pronunciation and all that. It takes time to True. get to learn the language, but I feel like once you face that barrier of being able, then you can overcome most of the challenges because then you can get a job, you can get to manage your finances, you can talk to people, you can ask for help, and there is a lot of support available. So once you speak German, you can like find all the help you need almost everywhere where you are. There's also like a lot of services to ask questions, even here in the university and also in the city. Yeah. And all the documentation and all that. So the first thing, get your German in place and then everything kind of just... I mean, That's a very right advice because I would say to survive with English in Germany is like it it it, it is possible. Yeah. But to feel uh, belong to Germany, you need to learn German anyway. That's true. Okay, thank you, Ingrid, very much <laughs> for welcome. your interview. It was my pleasure talking. Thank you.